that's done and I now should be able to save my changes all right so that's done excellent so I'm going to close that so I've done things on the Windows side of things so I'm good to go on that end and if I come back now and I type I just want to make sure that nothing's broken localhost still opens just fine so now I need to modify things on the web server the Apache side of things and to do that I need to open um, close that I need to go now to open the httpd config file and to do that I click on the WAMP server icon go to Apache and the file is right there I click on httpd config and then if you look at a lot of tutorials online they're going to tell you to add some code to this file you don't want to do that that's not the clean and neat way of doing it instead what you want to do is uncomment one line on this file that references and include for the vhosts, for the virtual hosts. And the easiest way to find that line is to find vhosts. And this is the line right down here that we want to edit. So virtual hosts include conf extra httpd vhosts.conf. We want to uncomment that line and then we're going to save that file. And now we want to find this file and add our virtual hosts to it. And you can see from the path, if I now come back here, and I open my WW directory, what I need to do is I need to go to WAMP, bin, Apache, Apache. This Apache 2.2.11, the name might vary depending on the version of Apache that's in your WAMP or your XAMP or your MAMP um, setup. Right, then I want to come into conf. And I'm going to have um, a written version of this tutorial on my blog, the coding pad, so that if I'm going too fast, you can always go back and reference and print it for your um, future reference and looking up. Now, this is the httpd under this conf file. This is the httpd for conf file that we just edited. If we go under extra, as you can see here from the path, it says include conf extra httpd. This is the file we're looking for, vhost.conf. So I'm going to open that with notepad++. And if you scroll down here, you see that we have some example code. And you can read the file, and there's a link to document official documentation that you can read about vhosts and configuring vhosts. But what we actually want to do is we already have some sample set up here, and we want to use that to configure our own, config, um, our own uh, virtual hosts. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set it up for localhost. Right. And in my case... This is simply, from my install, is simply www, all right? And then the server name is simply localhost. And the alias is simply www.localhost. And I would like my logs. This is your Apache logs. You don't have to set this up, but I like to set it up. I would like my logs to be in that location. And then I configure the second one, which... Again, you don't have to have all these. The ones that you must absolutely have are the document root and the server name. Those must absolutely be there. The rest are sort of optional. So I have admin at Drupal 6. And then I'm going to change this. WAMP, www. My folder is Drupal 6. And this is simply Drupal 6. Let me just copy that to make things move a little faster www.drupal6. I'm going to change that to Drupal6 and that right there. Oops, Drupal6. And then I'm going to make one more. And this is what you'd do in future if you wanted to add more virtual hosts. You would modify your hosts file to add your next virtual host domain name and come in here and add the same block of code. And now I have, I believe it's my local site. And then I'm going to copy that. All right, so just real quick. All right, so we have our three set up. We have the, just the base local host, and then we have Drupal 6, and we have my local site. Now we save that. Now anytime you make any changes to Apache configuration files, you want to restart your Apache server. Anytime you do that, you want to make sure that you restart your Apache server. So I'm going to close all these. I'm going to go back to the WAMP server icon, and I'm going to click re Restart All Services. Now, if you've made any errors in your code, if you've like made a typo of some kind, you're going to notice that the WAMP server will not clear back to, 
to plain white, but it might be yellow or something indicating that you have an error. So you want to go back and make sure that um, you didn't do a typo, forget to close a quotation mark somewhere, you know, or something like that. All right, so let's test localhost again, make sure nothing's broken. Excellent, it works. So now let's test it. In place of localhost there, we're going to put Drupal 6. And voila, look at that. We navigate directly to Drupal 6. It works great. Let's now try my local site. There we go. So you can see now that we've been able to set up our virtual host so that we can mimic very closely what happens when we're browsing um, the web. We simply type, we don't have to type, you know, public uh, HTML, whatever your shared server setting is. You just type in the domain name and it opens up. And so we've mimicked that same situation in our development environment. And you can do that over and over again. It's the same process. Edit your host file, edit your HTTPD um, vhosts file, and you're ready to go. So I hope this tutorial has been helpful. You can find um, a written version of it on the coding pad right under the screencast. I'll paste it in there. And you can print it for your reference. And look forward to your comments. Any questions, please feel free to ask. And um, see you next time. Thank you.